In the 20th century, two big explosions occurred. The mass media explosion and the violent crime explosion. But the question that still remains, is there a link between violent media and violence and social aggression in our society? Mother brokenhearted, weeping over a son shot and killed in broad daylight. The media industry tend to disagree with these types of accusations. They say that television and movies only echo what we see in society. President of CBS, Howard Stringer, says that television is merely holding a mirror to American society. Another representative of CBS, Zon Braun, made the claim that we live in a violent society. Art imitates the modes of life, not the other way around. It would be better for Congress to clean up that society than to clean up the reflection of that society, is what he says. But why couldn't it work the other way around? It is simply impossible to say that television mirrors what we see in everyday life. Most people have never even witnessed a murder, been in the middle of gunfire, or even been a victim in a bank robbery. Film critic Michael Medved says that claims made by the mass media industry that their content does not cause violence in our society are not true. He says, quote, if this were true, then why do so few people witness murders in real life? But everybody sees them on TV and in the movies. Seven of these people are murdered every night. If this rate applied in reality, then in just 50 days, everyone in the United States would be killed and the last left could turn off the TV. In the United States, by the time a child reaches the ages of seven to 11 years old, he or she would have witnessed 8,000 murders and 100,000 acts of violence just from watching TV alone by the time that child reaches the age of 18 years old, that young person would have seen 32,000 murders and 40,000 attempted murders from watching TV alone. TV Guide performed a study in 1992. Their objective was to cite the number of violent acts, aggressive behaviors, images of weapons shown in a dangerous manner within an 18-hour broadcast day. The TV Guide spotted 1,846 acts of violence and violent images in less than a day. Over time, these repeated images caused children to believe that negative and violent behavior is appropriate. Violent media has harmful long-term effects on children. Boys and girls who watched a considerable amount of violent television growing up when they marry tended to act overly aggressive and violent towards their spouses. Instead of the media mirroring us, however, according to short-term and long-term effects of violent media on aggression in children and adults, neuroscientists have determined that humans have an innate tendency to imitate whomever they observe. These mirror neurons within us are activated when we look at media or at the environment around us. Thus, an encounter with an event, object, or image can stimulate concepts, ideas, or emotions in a person's memory without that person being aware. What's wrong, McFly? Chicken? Let's not fail to mention the disparity when comparing reality to reality-based television shows. TV programs such as Cops and America's Most Wanted 
overdramatize with the amount of crime there is on TV compared to the amount of crime there actually is in the real world. There is an even worse disparity for murders. When comparing reality versus reality based shows, murders logged by the FBI came only to be about 0.2% for that year. The number of murders on reality based TV shows were shown 50% of the time. We are constantly fed negative portrayals of life through media since our birth. The sensitization by the media is like becoming numb to the images we see on television. Throughout the years, we become less concerned and bothered by the violent images that we see. All right. The average child in the United States today uses up to 40 hours a week of their time in some type of medium. That's like a seven-year-old having a full-time job. Every Saturday morning, 60% of kids are up early to watch their favorite cartoon or television programs. 97% of homes have DVD players, 89% have internet, and 90% have MP3 players. In today's world, we are exposed to a massive amount of violent media, from primetime television to the nightly news, commercials and violent video games, movies, even the radio, make its profits from showing the public violent images through screen and sound. What television has done on the whole is to tend to, is, is to contribute to the erosion of civility, the erosion of a feeling of security, the erosion of friendship, the erosion of a hallmark of civilization which is kindness to strangers.